Hey, what's up, guys? Today, this video is gonna be about my home theater system. So, as you know, I have I have all of these speakers in my room, five to be exact. I had more before. I had the most speakers I plug put in. I'll explain it all later. But some theater system is very like um awesome. It's nice. I love to play my music on here, and I um found out I found like the way to do the aux input and everything, and even the um AV so the screen. So if I plug it, put a DVD in there, or even with the CDs, all the tracks or um a movie would come up on the screen with the AV input. Uh, this video is going to be very long, but, um, yeah. So, this thing ha does have the aux, so I can just go ahead and p put in a phone and play the music. Right now, the aux is actually plugged into my TV. Uh, that is because I have my Chromecast in the back here, and I mostly just stream some YouTube videos to there. And, you know, I watch them, and I like having my surround sound system. So, the surround sound system works great with my TV and Chromecast. Uh, so, that's the aux. Aux is actually in the back here. The aux, uh, this is the 3.5 millimeter aux. And, um, but the other side of this is is the um the AV so the red and white wire I do have an extension for those cuz that aux cord wasn't that long and I needed to extend extend it so those extenders are very easy to find uh, I'm going to get a flash actually yeah I'm going to get a flashlight cuz it's going to help out in this video all these speakers are connected to this receiver by copper wiring it's all to them my subwoofer everything so basically every every wire that goes to that except the power and av and aux is copper wire that is going into it so there's the power wire right in built into it all the copper and some ports of these didn't work when I powered it up. Oh, and actually, that antenna is a um is a copper wire as well. Go ahead and put down tripod maybe. All right. So okay. So there's the aux and AV. Mine has a bunch of ports and everything, so there are a lot of ways you can play your music on this thing. So, one is aux, two is CDs, fourth is radio, actually, I think, uh, yeah, that's it, actually, there is no fourth. Did I say four ways? I don't know what I said, but, um... Yeah, I guess three ways to play your music, which is very nice, awesome, and the fact that I can plug it into my TV is great, but my TV has a port on it, so it won't work with everyone's TV. You gotta have a, I think it is called the home theater um, audio output. Anyways, let's get uh, basically how I set it up. Um, I didn't make a video of how I set it up because the first time when I, I didn't know anything about this but then the second time I really didn't take apart anything and it would just take too long since I didn't move my room around too so there's a copper wire and some ports didn't work so I had to jam good thing about copper wires though is that I can extend them I could uh, be create I don't know creative what they're easy I mean since these ports didn't work what I did is I jammed two wires into one port and the other into the other so these copper wires are actually 
um, positive and negative wires. And yeah, so I didn't find two wires that were really long and reached all the way for the receiver to here. It is actually one wire that reaches all the way to the receiver to there. So this, the copper wire that is plugged in to the one port here and one of these ports don't work for those speakers. Those are actually the front speakers that are supposed to be here. Those are the back speakers, but this works way better and I, I can't even put those in the back. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, one of the ports didn't work for the front one, so that worked out fine because I did do like some extension. So the one wire runs in here all the way throughout here. You can see the copper stapled on the wall, also with an extension cord, all the way back here. And I think it ends about right about right here. I'm not going to really pull it out because the copper wire um, extension, so like I said, it was positive and negative note. What I did was I, um, I connected the positive with the oh, this is gonna be hard to explain so the two wires from there both of their positives i connected it with this so i just twisted it up and then taped it same with the negative and it's super fragile so i don't want to i don't really want to rip it apart and then not with these ones these ones i just put individual wires since it wasn't too far subwoofer, individual wire, a short wire. This one I actually had to do an extension. No, I didn't. I swapped the wire. This wire was really short. I extended it. And um, when I had it on my dresser on my old room setup, I had two exten extensions going to that. And sorry, camera's not focusing. I just tapped it. I don't know what that would do. All right. Um, Alright, so here's the controller. Couldn't find the back piece for it. Control is what made this all happen. Because when I tested it and was downstairs, when it was not being used, it um, I tested it. And this had all the settings on here, like the aux and everything. So it has aux, DVD, USB. You can also plug in your headphones over here. So if you have a bunch of nice CDs, but you can't get them to go to your phone, plug them in here, and there you go. But this was meant for a living room, so I don't know if you don't want to disturb anyone or people are disturbing you. I guess find a super long pair of headphones. Uh, volume controls are right here, and all of this is just for the home theater system. All of that. Can't get the... Alright. And that is for the TV, so I can program this with my TV. I really should, but I haven't, because um, I can't, I just can't remember. But yeah, the TV settings for this is power, channel, volume, input, and mute, which is basically all I need. So I will go ahead and program that, so I don't have to be using two controllers, even though I don't even have a cable box up here. RCA, whatever. Um... This so has the pause, all that, the scan, skip, um, and when I plug into the aux, it doesn't, like, automatically go. I, s I have to do a couple of settings. Go ahead and turn on this light. Alright, so I have to mess around with a couple of settings. It's XTS Pro. No, sorry, it's not XTS Pro. XTS Pro is already programmed. Virtual, I have to hit that two times, and it'll say virtual, and then all the speakers will work. If it's not on virtual, these two speakers will not work. But for watching YouTube videos, I usually just use a center speaker and these two back speakers. So the, sp the sound doesn't really feel too crazy. If anything, I'll go ahead and play a video right now. I don't want to really play anyone else's, I guess. Uh. Alright, so while that's loading, I guess I will has a ringing noise for some reason and I can also dimmer this so that actually has some LED into it it's a nice scroll wheel uh, it's got a couple of settings on here so power button is power button is right there small button and um, open and close for CDs I have a bunch of CDs 
that is it's a bit dusty I didn't dust this off and it was just sitting uh play and then function uh pause stop and then tune and skip so you hold down to skip and um yeah you hold down to skip and just press to um you know what I mean all right so all these speakers are gonna work I have to press some all right, there now all the speakers will work, but I do want it on bypass. Oh wait, I just had it going. Okay. All right, so it is connected. See, YouTube is going up on there, and while it's on the aux setting, it's very loud at like ten or something. This goes up to forty, and trust me, it's very loud. I really don't think I'm going to do a sound test because it's going to be too crazy. Uh, I'm just trying to get some videos to load. Subwoofer. Uh, I already explained that. It's a nice design. I actually like this. Um, modern, you know, sleek. And this is, actually, I didn't tell you guys one thing. The HDMI there. It had, I was so happy when it had the HDMI. I was like, oh my god, this has HDMI. It'll stream HD. It doesn't work. Like, for some reason, I just can't get it to work. I've tried everything. Alright, so... Go ahead and play this video. <clears throat> Alright, so it's gonna go and play. Um... And... I do have... This is a copper wire right here. All bundled up. I have a bunch of these. I heard these are very expensive, which I don't know why they are because they are like the worst wires. They, they get me so frustrated sometimes. They're, they're just the wire exposed. That's how you connect it. Then you have to pinch this thing super hard. Uh, but I can show you in the back here. So these. So I'm gonna need a light. All right. So that red thing and that um, black thing right there, those you pinch to take the wires out. Obviously I'm not, because this tall speaker is like the hardest wire. All right, so this is my video here. It's just like, this is my recent video. It's about the mini tripod that I'm using right now. Uh, these speakers are not working. Tall speakers, center speaker, and back speakers are. Um, I don't know what else to let this video play, but it's not. The speaker is working. This center speaker is actually the loudest of them all. I think it makes sense because it is the center speaker. I. You know what? Comment down below if you want me to do a sound testing video. I just really wanted to, you know, show you how it really. Ex I just wanted to like explain it, I guess. Um, one more thing, actually. I just remembered the fourth um. Um, thing to play your music. If you have a U music on files on USB flash drives, boom. That that's a USB flash drive port. That's actually super cool. Uh, well, to me, I guess. But yeah, comment down below if you want me to do a sound testing video. Uh, but I gotta do that when my parents are gone. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you want to see anything else. I I don't think this video is a complete video either, but I just want to give you guys a quick, you know, a quick um, video of what this is. Uh, my sound system, I guess. And guys, another um, reason why this is actually a newer system. I know I told you the HDMI one. I didn't really tell you it was a newer system, but it actually really is. This is so slim. This receiver, 
I literally have a DVD player the width of this, but it's just the DVD player and this like um, size of that. It's actually in my dad's garage, and it just plays DVDs. This is a home theater system. I thought that was a receiver too, but it's not. And this, this is um my cousin actually has one too, and his is like you see with this rays with the rays and that like that it's really big his receiver but yeah that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed um thumbs up and see you in the next video